Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel and today I'll be teaching you how to bathe your tortoises. For this video I will be using Kiwi, my Greek tortoise, and before you comment anything, I know she has pyramiding on her shell. She came to me and she was anemic and full of parasites, so before you comment, there you go. So you'll need some kind of cup or you can literally use your hands if you prefer. I use this small measuring cup and a toothbrush that is gentle, so I just have this one. You absolutely do not want to use soap or anything like that because they do absorb and drink the water and you do not want any chemicals on it at all. You'll just want to turn your water on hot and wait for it to get warmer and just run a lukewarm bath. Once you've reached a temperature that you like, you will want to plug that hole and wait for it to fill up a little, depending on the size of your tortoise. You can kind of eyeball it. Next, you want to place your tortoise in the water, so you want to be really careful so that they don't get startled. And as you can see, you just fill it up maybe to the neck, maybe, but not too much so that they can still get their head above the water and be comfortable. Some tortoises do really enjoy water, some just really don't. Mine actually does, she walks around a little bit and puts her head under water, drinks a little, she just generally likes it and is really cute to watch too. You mostly want to let them soak, you don't really want to move them too much, you just want to let them chill and stay there for a while, usually 15 minutes or until they poop, so yeah. If your tortoise is an absolute savage and just gets dirt everywhere, you can scrub him with a soft toothbrush. So I know I'll get comments on this too, my toothbrush does have some residue of toothpaste, but it really doesn't get out, it's like fossilized in there, so don't worry about that. But you just want to gently brush it. I know it looks a bit rough, but it's she's just wobbly because she's in the water. So you just want to gently brush it and loosen up the dirt in their shell. Some tortoises will let you brush their limbs and face. Mine luckily does. My other one, Coconut, really doesn't enjoy it. But Kiwi is a sweetheart and lets me do anything I want. Something that they absolutely hate, and this is any tortoise I know, is cleaning their plastron, but that sometimes, and when I say this I mean most times, is necessary because it's the part that gets the dirtiest, so it's really good to keep good hygiene. And yeah, if you want to do this, make sure you take breaks so that they don't get too stressed out. If they do, they will poop, you can see a little little poop there but yeah that's that's basically it I just cleaned that out of the way and she was pretty clean so I was just doing this mainly as a demonstration when you're all done you just want to take her or him out gently as well because you do not want to scare him and just let the water drip a little and then place him on a nice towel and dry him out. If you're like me and you're using a bidet or a sink or the bathtub, you do want to drain it out and clean it thoroughly so that none of the bacteria gets transferred to you or anything like that and that it's safe for both of you. Finally, you'll want to place your tortoise under a heat lamp or near a heat source so that she can, she or he can dry them out uh, by themselves and so that they can stay warm. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I just released new merch. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. I have an Instagram, a TikTok, a Twitter, and a Pinterest. And I will see you guys later.